So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you two simple tips, one setup and one swing thought that helped a high handicapper the other day pick up nearly 30 extra yards with his hybrid and got him standing over the ball and hitting shots that he never really thought he was capable of. Now I know what you're thinking, bold claim. So I'm gonna show you kind of before and after with what he produced on Trackman now. And we can see to start with, he was hitting the ball 128 yard carry, rolling out to 142 yards. And we got him carrying it 152 and rolling out 168. And you could see on the Trackman figures there, there was no real change in club head speed, so it wasn't like we got him swinging loads faster. And actually, the one that he hit the furthest wasn't even as close to the centre of the club face. But we managed to get him transferring the energy from the club head into the ball better, being more efficient and therefore helping him not only be more accurate, but also be considerably longer. So I know what you're thinking. Why? Why is that so important? Well, I think for a lot of mid to high handicappers, the scoring clubs in the bag are the fairway woods and the hybrids, because they're the ones that if they don't get those going with the second, even third shots, it just takes you so many to get to the green, short game becomes a little bit irrelevant. So what the handicapper, and I will stress, we worked on this with him last year and he'd kind of forgotten a little bit over the winter. So it wasn't something new, wasn't reinventing the wheel. But what he tended to do was set up very much as he's been taught historically, aiming the club at the target, getting those feet parallel and left, and then putting a swing on it. And very much, even though my club head speed is a little bit higher, seeing very much a path massively out to win, so Trackman showing that as 10 degrees out to win, and the club face 12 degrees open. So for me there, the carry at 188, total 200. Now the big difference for me there is speed that I generate, but it's a very much kind of a glancing blow that as that club face is coming in wide open, if you swung on a good path, the club face would be looking way over to the right, the ball would set off right and slice. So the way most golfers correct that is that the open club face, they don't swing on a good path. They try and get the ball setting off better by swinging across and cutting across the ball. And obviously most golfers see on video the out to in path or what they think is out to in path and they try and fix the path, but you can't fix the path unless you fix the face. And this is what we spoke about last summer with this client and then again the other day. So the first thing we said we wanted him to do and no hard and fast rule how he did this, was he aimed straight but all I said I wanted him to do was that impact, I wanted him to feel like he could get that club face pointing left at impact. So hopefully we would see the ball curve from right to left. And even if it didn't curve left, we would see it miss the target left. So he had that feeling for him of holding the club up in front and kind of feeling like the club head was overtaking the hands, which I know a lot of you out there might say, I don't want that feeling. I want the feel of the hands leading in. But you see the problem there, that club face is wide open. So for this particular golfer, the feeling that the club head was winning the race back to the ball was a good feel. And the first thing we saw is as he set up, didn't really change his path. And we saw a little bit of that. So we can see there, ball curving, way off to the left, path was still five degrees out to win, club face was then nine degrees closed, and obviously reasonable distance, but quite low and very much off target and potentially in trouble. So as he did a few of those, he definitely could feel how much he closed the club face. So he kind of felt that he didn't want to feel too exaggerated with it, but had to be willing to exaggerate to dial back a little bit. So then what we tended to see is as he'd set up to the golf ball, we tended to see a little bit more of that. So again, the strikes were solid, path was still out to win, low point was ahead, smash factor jumped up, club face was still a little bit closed. So the path, the club path that everyone obsesses about, 
is the direction the club is traveling when it's at full compression of the golf ball for Trackman. So it can only be traveling straight, it can be traveling left, or it can be traveling to the right. And it is all measured down to the ball to target line. So what we saw with this golfer is when he aimed straight, his natural movement would get that club moving left as it struck the golf ball. And it was kind of about eight degrees for him. So what we said is, let's say for example, instead of aiming nice and straight, he then aimed his feet and the club 10 degrees to the right. Then if his body makes that same movement, that path should be much straighter. And then the club face being closed, we should see the ball either be a bit of a pull or shape from right to left. So instantly you could see that light bulb moment of this is what we did last year. This is actually what got him down from 23 to I think 17.9 last year and 18 was his target. This year he's saying 16, but I think maybe 14 or 15 could get to this year. So we said we were gonna aim that club over to the right align the feet to the right and then again feel like that club head was going to win the race and straight away we started to see a very very different golf shot we still saw solid strikes club head speed didn't pick up ball speed jumped up smash factor jumped up and then we started seeing the path for him not being quite that far to the right but being slightly to the right, face being a bit closed, and we started to see more distance. Now for me, I'm not seeing the big pickup that he saw, but still a pickup there for me. But straight away, I mean, yeah, this, this year was great, but last year was really noticeable. He'd always had that weak, glancy blow and trying to almost hit the ball harder and harder. And what he actually found was the better he delivered the club and the better he aligned his body to allow the delivery of the club to be more efficient and get the energy into the club head, he really started picking up some big distance. And the one he hit yesterday that kind of got out 168, was probably the furthest he's ever hit hybrid. We then did it with three wood, which he got one out 185 and transferred it into driver, which was getting over 200 yards again. And for him, real game changing numbers, because all of a sudden, instead of hitting driver 170 and then not being able to get anywhere near something that's 400 yards in two, all of a sudden he can kind of get there in two. But the first thing, he was very good with club head. But the mistake he tended to make when we didn't remind him was that he'd still aim straight, go on autopilot, and then miss over to the left. But, as we can see there on Trackman. But what I did say to him is if you put a good swing on it and the result's poor because you've not aimed in the right place, then that's down to making a poor decision, not a poor golf swing. Now, comment below how many of you maybe make that mistake on the golf course that you aim straight, not expecting to hit a straight one, but maybe hoping you're gonna hit a straight one. And that straight one never really comes. And you kind of hedge in your bets, hoping for the best. But like we said for him, for someone who's sliced the golf ball, it'd be lovely to take that right-hand side of the course out of play, which we can't guarantee, but if he makes a bad swing, we don't mind him being punished. But he can't be punished for doing what he's trying to do. So again, we're gonna get him aiming up that right hand side, and this might be exactly what you need. Feel like that club head's gonna win the race. And even the ones that don't feel absolutely perfect out of the middle of the club are still gonna be more in play, further down the hole. And like I said, those scoring clubs of hybrids and fairway woods suddenly become your favorite clubs in the bag. And I guarantee if you're a mid to high handicapper and you're good with these clubs, that will get your scores down.